and quickly just gaining <clears throat> access, you, you know, a wonderful neighbor, or someone that works at a shop that's right. frequent. Well, access is, is the key to anything. And, you know, it can be on a small level with somebody that you want to make a documentary about and you have a relationship with, or it can be a larger thing where you have to really uh, take months to gain that access. And on Border War, we were embedded by uh, Secretary Chertoff uh, and, uh, in, uh, at Homeland Security. We were embedded with a group of undercover agents in Nogales, Arizona, and to get that access took months. But what that gave the film was this incredible look at what happens on the border with the constant stream of human and drug smuggling coming over. And without that access, that whole section of the film would have not not have been there. That, that really brought the viewer into the smuggler's tunnels and into the safe houses and across the border to see how it all happened. So, you know, access is everything. The same with m m Broken Promises, my movie on the United Nations. You know, I had to go to the United Nations and sit down with them and convince them that I was going to do a film that was going to be constructively critical of their organization, but constructive and fair, and in fact giving them the last word, which is what we did. And um, But you have to gain trust, and uh, get, by gaining that trust during those meetings with the United Nations, we were given access to film in the entire facility, and I don't recall another documentary, at least before or since, there's been a few feature films, but we had access to film in the General Assembly, and the security council rooms, and, and it's just full access to the, to the premises, which was invaluable and gave the film the look that we were looking, going after. So access, uh, whether it's your neighbor or the United Nations or Department of Homeland Security, access is, is really what's going to make your story. In terms of gaining <coughs> trust, I think I heard John Sayles say about Mate Juan that he had to do, quote, the porch time. He had to, you know, go into the community and talk to people and really make them realize that he was an okay guy, he wasn't there to exploit them. Mm -hmm. So what is porch time with United Nations? I mean, how do you court a relationship like that? Well, it was as simple as, you know, calling them up and finding out what's the protocol for proposing that we can do a film and shoot on the premises. And you find out their protocols and you have to write your letters and then you have to go to New York and you sit down with uh, their team in a room and you have to answer their questions. And it's, the bottom line is they'll check you out and, you know, maybe they think, well, somebody's going to do a film on, on us. I've looked and checked into this team and we like this team and we're going to trust this team to do a fair job. It really comes down to that. So it comes down to meeting with these people and gaining their trust. And, and this was uh, all around an event, a 60th anniversary, so there was going to be some press coverage. They knew it was coming and they knew they had to pick and choose who they would allow to be in, on, in the, on the premises. Turns out that the, our, my, our film was quite, quite critical, very critical, of the of the organization. But it was always meant to be, uh, you know, a kind of a meditation on how do you make it better, how do you improve it. So they got that from from our conversation, and that's why they allowed us to film there. In terms of gaining trust with some, let's say, an obscure artist, and you <coughs> pass them on the street, and you notice them for months, how would one do that without? sort of exploiting them or is is there a very fine line between that well you it's always about making contact i mean if you, you, you if you want to tell their story they have to trust that that uh, they're going to tell it in a fair fashion they want to have they want to be able to say i do want my story told or not if they don't they don't but you just have to gain you have to establish contact i mean it's it's basically what you it's the whole process of filmmaking is about making connections with people too and telling stories and exposing things to larger groups of people so the whole process is about communicating with people and that begins with communicating with your subject hello can i make a film i'd like to make a film about you and the, and you go from there it's almost like asking someone out on a date so you kind of take that one <laughs> right. that one leap and and right. is that as simple as that hey may I, may I well yeah it, it could be as if you know it depends on your comfort level it could be as simple as sending an email which is fairly safe now like hello i'm a, i'm a, i'm very interested in your story i'm a fan of your work and you know here's here's what i've done in the past um, i mean an example recently errol morris did another film with uh, another former Secretary of Defense, this time Donald Rumsfeld, about the Iraq War. Well, he contacted Rumsfeld's office and, and he just gave them, he said, look, here, I made a film called The Fog of War with McNamara. Take a look at that. You can see if you can trust me or not. Come to Washington, D.C. 
and we'll film and I'll put together a little piece and I'll show it to you. And if you like it, we'll proceed. If not, that's fine. We'll walk our, we'll go our separate ways. I believe that's the way the story went, but that's the way sometimes you have to establish trust. You're not out to burn anybody. You're here to make a film and, 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 and communicate and, and put something out, whether it's critical or not. You know, these people, you want them to cooperate with you. So you want to say, I'm going to, I'm, there's no nothing, no games going on here. Here's what I'm doing. Do you want to be a part of this? And here's you can look into my past and you can trust me or you cannot trust me. That's fine. But I would like to do a film and then you can just go from there.